Hello, my name is Tony West. I am the quality manager at Central Screw Products. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a caliper. There are two different types of calipers. We have a digital caliper and a dial caliper. First, I'm going to show you the digital caliper. As you can see here, it has a digital readout. It has outside jaws to measure uh, ODs and lengths. It has inside jaws to measure IDs. It has a lock that locks it into place. Turn it. Locks. Turn it again to unlock it. It's underneath. Switch it from inches to millimeters. And in this particular gauge, there is a button to turn it on and to zero it out. We also have a depth probe, this thing right here, used to measure depths. So first, you want to turn it on. You need to make sure it's zeroed out by closing the jaws and making sure the digital readout reads zero. You would then take your measurements. Here is a dial caliper. It's very similar. You have your outside and inside jaws. You have your main scale. You have your depth probe to check the depths. You have a locking mechanism. Down here you have a locking mechanism for the dial. And of course, this is the, the dial reader. When reading a dial caliper, you start with the main scale and you read it in inches. You want to read the one on the bottom. The one on the top is for millimeters but we are going to use the one on the bottom always. The larger numbers read in inches. This particular gauge is a 0 to 6 inch caliper. The next smaller unit is in 100 thousandths. Of course 10 100 thousandths equals 1 inch. The next smaller unit is thousandths and you use your dial to read that. There are 100,000 units on the dial. For example, if we just happen to open up the jaws, lock it, if you read it, it says it's past the one inch but not to the two, so we know this is one inch. Then we read the smaller unit that you see, 700. And then you read your dial, 69. One inch, 769 thousandths. It's very important that you zero out your gauge after every measurement. To zero it out, you just close the jaws, make sure that your, the hand is on the zero. This is how you use the depth probe. You want to open up your calipers, and turn it sideways, place the probe into the depth which you want to measure and to slowly close it until it reach until it reaches the the end of the part. The depth is three hundred six thousandths. 
Now I'm going to show you the same thing with the digital calculator. You open up the jaws to lower the depth probe, place it inside the depth, close the jaws. 306,000. So make sure it's at zero and you close the jaws. Open the jaws, place the part between the jaws, close them, one inch, five thousandths. Close the jaws when you're done. And that is how you use the caliper.